Hey guys, I just finished a battle. Um, you guys are getting ready to start one, but I wanted to share a little bit of, of God's word with you. So um, I don't know about you, but we have big open skies in Kansas. So on a very clear day in Kansas, you can see forever from the universe to the universe, it seems like. And those days are beautiful, but my favorite days aren't the days that I can see the sun shining from end to end. They're the days with the clouds. And it just reminds me that the clouds give definition to the sky. It looks deeper and bigger and uh, wider and, and the sun rays move in and out of it. And sometimes when the sun's just coming over the cloud or straight through a cloud, it creates these rays and I call them Jesus clouds. And every time I see one, I point one out and I'm like, oh look, it's, it's a Jesus cloud. Because here's the truth about life. Um, you're gonna experience the glory of the Lord more when you have clouds in your life versus a bright sunny day. You're going to experience, I'm going to repeat that again, the glory of the Lord more when you have clouds in your life versus a bright sunny day. And I'm going to bring you to this verse. It's in Mark 13, 26, and it says, at that time, people will see the son of man coming in, uh, in clouds with great power and glory. So every time you see a cloud, I want you to think there's the glory of the Lord. I'm going to pray with you. Papa, Father, God, we love you so much. Thank you uh, for dying for us. Thank you for being with us. And thank you for giving us daily reminders of your glory. I challenge our warriors uh, not only to stay safe as they battle today, uh, but to go outside and to look at those clouds and know the glory of the Lord. In Jesus' name, amen.